Let's talk about power. So power is defined as a rate of doing work. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, it's important to remember that work is a form of energy. So if work is a form of energy, this is going to be very important for us. But we have a few different definitions. So there's one officially from your data booklet, but I think there's a practical one here. So first of all, let me just write down uh, one that I think is useful. So power is just going to be work done over time. Now that's not the official version. The official version from your data book that goes like this. Capital P is going to be equal to, it's going to be delta W over delta T. By the way, that's the one that says rate of doing work, right? That's change in work over change in time. But there's also another version that goes just F times V. So the force times the velocity. So this is the equation that you actually get in your data booklet. So let's define all of our variables. So capital P is going to be the power. We're going to have W is the work done. We're going to have uh, T is the time. F is the force. And V is the velocity. Now the units for velocity are pretty easy. It's just meters per second. Uh, force is easy. It's newtons. Time is easy. It's seconds. Work done. Now do you remember? That is in joules. Now here's the thing. If you're going to do it this way right here, you could say that, uh, and actually I'm going to jump into this one here. Think of power as energy this is actually maybe the most important thing that I could show you, in fact. Power, I like to think of as just energy over time. In other words, energy in joules over time, which is in seconds. So although it's not official, I think this is the most useful piece. This is like the piece that I, I have in my brain. I know that energy over time, in other words, if I see joules per second, oh, I know that's a power. So power could be measured in joules per second, but it has its own unit, and we call it watts. And that's when I have maybe one of my favorite memes ever, and it's this one right here. You're a unit of power, Harry. <laughs> I'm a watt! That comes from uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> that's actually in the first movie, but there we go. Awesome. So that's how I remember this. So why is this so important? Why do I care about this? This right here is the piece right here. This is, it's so common on exams. This is crazy how often this comes up to help you. So power, that's how we switch topics. So in other words, if you're going to consider something like in mechanics, so let's say you take some object and you raise it up, that's some sort of like mechanics type stuff. That's like, you know, when you're raising it up, ooh, there's gravitational potential energy. And anytime you have energy over time, you have power. So, for example, if you're raising an object with a motor, well, that's going to be the power of the motor. And, of course, if you want to uh, link that to electricity, maybe they tell you here's the, uh, you know, what's the uh, resistance of that motor or something, if they gave you the current or something. Um, also, if you're going to heat up a liquid, for example, or heat up some object, uh, with a circuit. Of course, if you're heating it up, what's that? That heat is in form of energy. So for example, it could be um, in the form of specific heat capacity, for example. It could be a uh, specific latent heat. Basically, if you're changing phase or changing temperature, you've got an energy. You take the energy, you divide it by time, you get the power. Also power of a nuclear reactor or whatever else. So power is super, super important for us. So let's keep with the Harry Potter theme. And I like this one. It's supposed to be school supplies, but it almost looks like it's some kind of <laughs> some kind of spell like Shaspo Columbus. So we have a box of school supplies. Uh, it has a mass of 12 kilograms. And a motor raises the box vertically 3.9 meters in 13 seconds. What's the power of the motor? And it sounds crazy, but it's really, really easy. All you got to do then is just consider, yeah, okay, you have that box of school supplies, sure, and it goes up, doesn't it? And it goes up uh, 3.9 meters. And so if we're going to do the power, we're just going to remember that, hey, the power is going to equal to delta W over delta T. That's the official equation. But I prefer to say it's just the energy over time. Now, what form of energy do we have here? In this case right here, we're going to be considering gravitational potential energy. And we know that that equation equals mg delta h. That's this equation right here. And if that's the case, then we just keep going. Then we say, all right, that means it's going to be just m times g times delta h, all that over t. Do we know any of these values? We actually do. We know them all. So let's see here. We have m, which is 12 kilograms. We have g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. We have delta h, change in height, which is 3.9 meters. And we divide all that by 13 seconds. 
it's actually that easy. So see, once you conceptually solve this question, there's nothing to it. So I'm just going to make a pretty fraction here and say 12 times 9.81 times 3.9 and all that divided by 13. Press enter and I get 35.316. Now if I look at these units, they'll technically be units of energy over time, so it'll be joules per second, but it's also known as a watt. Now keep in mind, I want my answer to how many significant figures. I've got two here, two here, two here, so I should probably write it with two. That means I'm just going to say 35 watts. There we go, we've solved it. Now what if in the question they had instead said, oh, the motor, you know, um, has a current of blah 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 through it, what's the voltage or what's the potential difference? And that's fine, right? You can use this power then to go into that land or that world, so to speak, because the power that we talk about for uh, electricity is the same power here. So that's why this is a really, really useful way to mix different topics. It's extremely common, so make sure you are aware that power is energy over time.